Got a very special, perfect partners uh, this week. Normally it's with a player <laughs> and, and his wife or girlfriend. Uh, this <sighs> week, however, Erin Mole is starring with your mother, Anne. Wow. Tell us about that. Sad enough already. I'm now doing perfect partners with my good. mother. <laughs> wow. tell, tell us about Anne, your mum. Uh, she's a good bird. She's lovely. <laughs> she um she bore me, I guess. <laughs> she gave yeah. birth to me, raised me. <laughs> she's um she's really lovely. She's married to my dad. <laughs> I'm really nervous. Really? I know. Um, her, yeah, she's just she's a woman. <laughs> all right, you've covered it all there. Let's <laughs> meet Anne. Hi, I'm Anne Molan. I'm the mother of four perfect children, one of whom is Ern. Good luck tonight, Ernie. Um, I know that you've always been totally honest with Daddy and I and told us absolutely everything, so I'm sure we'll blitz it. All right, Ernie. Ernie. <laughs> oh, that's my nickname. That's really oh, embarrassing. Like from Ernie stick. and Bert. Oh, let's, let's not pick up on that. Let's yeah, play yeah. perfect partners. Here we go. <laughs> What's your favourite meal that your mum cooks? Oh, um, oh, I like her chicken schnitzel. She has a really good schnitzel. Chicken schnitzel. Yeah. And first up? Erin's favourite meal would be chicken schnitzel or perhaps a family recipe from my mum, Granny's chicken casserole. What was the other one? Uh, Granny's chicken casserole. Oh, okay. Nice. <laughs> yep. All right. Uh, what's the most memorable Mother's Day present you have ever given to your mum? Um, I want some. <laughs> I do give her lots of presents. I gave her um, some nice um, Swarovski stuff, but that was for Christmas. <laughs> yeah, right up. It's Mother's Day, Mother's Day present. Yeah, I don't know. I can't Something. think. I don't. I'm, can't think. I give lots of presents. Like, and I'm... you tell us what she gave you. <laughs> Erin's most memorable Mother's Day present to me would be, I think, the pasta necklace and bracelet set that uh, she made in preschool. <laughs> that wasn't the last time I gave her a Mother's Day present, by the way. What's the most embarrassing thing Erin has ever done as a mum? Um, it sounds so... No one else will get this, and, but my sister and I, when we, when we used to go to Woolies and Coles, she'd go and... She'd ask, like, at the deli for meat, and she'd say, I'll have 500 grams of harm. And we'd be like, Mum, it's ham. And she'd sound really hot and say, harm. And we'd be like, oh, my God, it's ham. So, anyway, that was really embarrassing. Well, um, harm. Em, we're looking for harm. Um, Erin would answer that um, uh, I dressed her and her sisters in either matching or coordinated Laura Rashley outfits and then had the hide to take them out in public. Yeah, that was embarrassing too. <laughs> <laughs> What's the most common comment on your school report card? Uh, yeah, that, that old one, like, <laughs> oh, she does good but could do better, like, she doesn't listen, she's Talking a bit naughty, class. yeah. Doesn't try. Yeah, oh, right. all those gen yeah, generic ones. Disrupts others. Disrupts others. <laughs> Harm. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Anne? Quote, whilst these marks are pleasing, all the Berens' teachers feel that she could do better. Unquote. I know that one off by heart. <laughs> well done. You got that one right. Well yeah. done. Yeah. A tone there from Mama. <laughs> OK. Who was the first boyfriend you oh. ever brought home? Oh, God. <laughs> no, it wasn't Bo. Um, my first one, I was a, like, I was a bit of a late bloomer. Like, I only had my first kiss when I was 17. So oh. my first boy, I know, I was a bit terrified of men. Gee, you made I, up for it. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> this is outrageous. My first, That's an outrageous. <laughs> the first boyfriend I took home was, um, was Paul, who I met um, at the Vikings Club in Canberra. He was a, <laughs> <laughs> no, he was a big, a big Irish person. Yeah, G train. <laughs> hey, 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 hey. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> Paul, he's a... Well, that's the first one she knew about. He was big, was he? he was, oh. No, big? he was big and tall. Oh, he okay. Was, right he right was, yeah, he was a big... <laughs> All right. <laughs> <laughs> We're looking for Paul. Big Paul. 
<laughs> the first boyfriend that Erin brought home would be a six foot six Irish rugby player called Paul, and he was gorgeous. Oh, oh yeah, she liked him. And Dad, Dad was in the army, so Dad was away a lot. How long Mum he liked how him. Long he last? It was about three years, I think. Oh, really? Oh, yeah, okay. long term. <laughs> yeah, I know my record's not great recently, but he was all right. <laughs> What's happened? Oh, no, let's not go there. Well, he's not together anymore. <laughs> What's, uh, what was your favourite TV show as a kid? Um, well, we used to always... Well, I love the footy show, but <laughs> we, um, we used to always make our own shows, like, <laughs> like my sister and brother and I, and sisters and friends, just like our own little news programs. So then oh. I just used to watch sport all the time. I just watched sport, so I was quite okay. boring. <laughs> Any sport, any sport, even tennis at times when she was absolutely dreadfully bored. Very nice. Very good. Thank you. What achievement of yours do you think has made your mum most proud? Um, being here on the show? Do you think? Well, yeah, I think definitely being a panellist on the footy show. Breaking up with one boyfriend I had that was a bit of a tool. Uh, they, they were very proud of me about that. Um, no, you're a full guy. Not proud. <laughs> <laughs> you're horrid. Um, no, he's not at all. He's lovely. Um, <laughs> he broke up with me. Well, why are you still with him? Because um, <laughs> he broke up with me. Oh, sorry. Um, <laughs> I just feel um, what mum would be most proud. I think just, I, I actually like, I think I'm quite a decent, nice person. I like to be nice to people and I, I I think mum mum doesn't get into the whole television and she just wants us all to be good people okay. I think but that's a lovely right. answer thank you uh, Erin's generosity of spirit I would think like all parents we are probably prouder of the people our children have become than their achievements as such so Erin's generosity of spirit which of course is not really visible on the television but uh, everyone who knows her knows it If you weren't on television, what do you think you'd be doing? Um, well, when I was younger, my sister and I wanted to start a horse farm and teach them gymnastics. So <laughs> I'd probably be doing that. <laughs> how, how do you teach, teach horses gymnastics? I don't gymnastics? know. We haven't figured out the real kind of dynamic. nooks and crannies yeah. dynamic of it, the logistics of it. Oh, but yeah, it I think it would have been, been good. Yeah, it made good. a lot of money out of it. <laughs> I think Erin has great people skills and great language skills, so I think if she weren't doing what she is doing now, she would probably be doing something like translating or teaching maybe language, something like that. Yeah. That too. <laughs> yeah. Similar. 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 Here we go. Lucky last. Are you good in the kitchen? And what do you think is your signature dish? Okay. I am. Um... A lot of people would think I'm probably not good in the kitchen, but I reckon Mum actually thinks I'm all right. Like, I've made a couple of things at home. I made a salad at Christmas and I made... <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. 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 I googled the recipe and I had it on my phone and Mum took me shopping. It was so exciting. It was really, really <laughs> lovely. And then I once made bolognese as well a few years ago. <laughs> I'm not with you anymore. <laughs> Mum actually thought it was really nice. So I reckon she'll say my bolognese. Or salad. Erin's ever so good in the kitchen. She'll always give me a hand washing the dishes. Erin probably thinks that a signature dish is a piece of crockery that's been signed. So I would say that uh, the closest thing she'd have to a signature dish would be her Raiders mug. Okay. <laughs> that's, a, that's a pretty good spray. Oh, yeah. She's that is a fair sledge. All right, let's have a look at your final score. <laughs> I'm sure that it's that... That's, how many? I don't know. Five, five out of nine. Oh, that's, that's all right. right. Well done. <laughs> well done. Well done, Thank, thank you for being good sport. And we want to thank... Hi. She looks like a lovely mum. She is Anne the best mum Thank ever. you very much for your thank time. Thank you, mum. Love you. And for, from, for Anne, uh, 200 dollars voucher from the House of Cador. That's, uh, and actually, yeah, that's lovely. And your mum. I'm wearing House of Cador tonight. Oh, nice. But um, Mum would actually like to give this to Bowel Cancer Australia, an organisation we support to give to one of their mothers who's, right. who's struggling at the moment. That's so very nice. Thank, Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. That was fun.